All right, let's play this. Okay, this is Monster Train. This is a deck building roguelike that came out on Steam about maybe a year and a half ago. And this is the Switch port. I have not played the game since the initial launch window, maybe a couple months after. They did have a bunch of updates that did some balances, that added some new challenges. I think that added a, a like a final act, kind of like Slay the Spire. It's loading, wow. Um, still loading, still loading. And they added some new classes and stuff. So this is the Switch version. N not sponsored, I bought this myself. And I really want to retry this game. I like it a lot. And on Steam, we went pretty far. But now we're going to be trying it out on a Switch. And uh, I got it on Switch because I want to maybe play it on my own. But perhaps if I really, really like it, uh, I might do daily videos on YouTube. <coughs> so, um, I will... The, the first, like, run, I'll go ahead and explain how it works. But, uh... Wow, this is interesting. Okay, so let's look at the UI. Lil Nas, okay, triangle. Let's see. So, oh yeah, so this is this is how a run starts. After the first run, we're, we're gonna be able to go to the main menu and customize stuff. But for now, they give us the two primary clans, which is the Hellhorn and the Awoken. So this being a deck building roguelike, they're your clans. They combine cards, and that's how you and that's your starting deck. So this is a current ring limbo. So these are the okay. So let's see. Da, da, da. So I think I don't know if this is stages or if this is ascension. We'll worry about that later. Final boss. So at the beginning of the, each run, you get to know who's the final boss, so you can kind of uh, you know fix your deck around it. So this cleanses all units of effects which don't benefit them. So if I buff myself a lot, it will pr it will get rid of it. So you can change the speed up. Here's the overall map. You got to go through all these stages and then you defeat the boss at the end. And then if I press start here, here's more stuff. Let's look at these settings here. Music, sound effects, game speed. We'll leave it on. Uh, what? Yeah, we'll leave, like, hell yeah, dude. Why would I not want combat preview on? Accessibility, static, background battle. What do you mean by static? Enabling this prevents the 3D from moving. Camera shake off. So I think the reason why you want that on or off is maybe because it might make you sick or because the performance is bad. Googly eyes. <laughs> that's funny. All right. All right. So that's that. Uh, yeah, it's like Slay the Spire, but it's a little different. So I press select. It looks to my deck. So um, when you choose a primary clan, you get their hero card and they're your, they're your hero. You draw them at the beginning of every game. And then uh, you can see these are my starting cards. So being the fire deck, I get these, I get the torches and then the green deck gives me these restores. And then you always start with monsters called Stuart. So these are my starting decks. Okay. So we'll go ahead and get started. Yeah. How do I get started here? Go. All right. So it's your first battle. These disciples have dead. So you're essentially the bad guy. Uh, you're defeating like these angels and you're like you have a hell train and you're going to destroy uh, the base of the, the enemies so in every stage every battle is how it works you have to defend your train so you're taught your your pyre from the, look at the music okay so uh, yes it teach me how to play the game okay so you can see here this is your pyre it has 20 attack and 80 health so what happens is if it goes down to zero, you lose the game. The runs over. I have mana on the bottom left. Uh, I should probably move my camera down a little bit. There you go. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. So you draw your cards. You can see here uh, you have embers, which is your mana. Each thing has a mana on the top left. So this costs zero. So I'm going to put down this guy. So you, so you put them on different areas, right? You can see here on the top of the card, it costs zero, and it also has two of those yellow orbs. Those yellow orbs dictate how heavy a character is and how, you know, so I could put two out of five on here. So he costs two, I put two. Okay, so the capacity, yes. Thank you. So I have 10 cards left. You can see which cards are in there. And then you can see plus five means I draw five each turn. So. I can go ahead and uh, activate a steward. I could put him in the front or the back. These enemies shows exactly what they do. They have 25 health and they attack for two. So after each turn, they attack and then they move. They attack and then they move floors. 
So your job is to get three floors that will stop them. Of course, everyone has their own abilities and stuff like that. Like some might skip or anything like that. So this guy straight out attacks. Like this guy just attacks two. And then you can see if I, if I just end the turn here, I hit him for seven and then he moves on. The reason why we hit him for seven, just to calculate this, is my character does six times two, which is 12. Six times two. But then um, he has two armor. Do, do, do. Negative seven. Well, I'm supposed to be doing six times two. Why is it not 12? Does he have armor? I'm a little weirded out here. All right, anyway, here is the trusted priest. So this guy heals. This guy does not hurt. So you want to use these other abilities to take him out. So if I just hit this guy, he's going to die. There. Oh, okay. Oh, because he healed. Because that guy healed for five. Makes sense. Okay, there you go. So now we're doing the full 12 instead of healing. But to make this thing even easier, I'm going to go ahead and summon our steward here. Now you can shoot. It, it, the game doesn't end if your hero dies. It just makes it harder for you to take down stuff. So you want to build a deck that works towards your strengths. And there's lots of different ways to build your deck. So um, I'm going to put this train steward in front here till he takes the hit. So he takes the two hit. You can see here the negative two. And I have one mana left, so I might as well use it to attack this guy. So this guy's going to get negative 17 total, and then he's going to move up. And that, that's pretty much all we can do. There you go. See, look at that. So he moves up. And now some move guys, some new guys moving. So you can see uh, there it says waves remaining. So two more enemy pop up and then uh, you fight the rest of them and that's GG. So if he moves up here, nothing happens, moves up. He moves up here, he gets a shot off. So he hits two and then I hit back for 20. So that's not an issue there. Okay, so I'm gonna move a train steward right here. How much does he do? Five damage. Okay, so he does five damage. I'm gonna hit him for this. So he will attack him. That's good. Uh, who attacks first? I think they attack first. So that's pretty bad. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on this one. I'm gonna take this guy out, this healer. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty simple. Okay, end turn. So they attack, I attack. He attacks, then we both attack again. You can see my train steward very close to death. A brief respite. Which means a uh, boss is coming up next. Okay, so this one looks simple. I'm gonna summon a train steward here to take the take a hit. So these two should kill him for sure. And I'll summon an extra train steward at the well. Let's heal first. So I will heal this guy. So this heals uh, two and applies one regen. The regen means you restore one extra one at the end of the turn decreases. So he goes up to seven. I can heal it again. But I think I'd rather spend my mana summoning another train steward in my turn. Oh, pow. All right, now it's the boss. All right. So this guy, this guy is relentless, meaning um, he will battles. will just go back and forth until the floor is over. We, we pretty much won the floor. You can see the combat is he's dead. So that's not an issue. So it would go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until they die. And then it goes up here. And then another turn starts. I end it. They go back and forth, back and forth until we die. And then we go back and forth, back and forth again. But we're lucky enough to stop him on this floor. So that's not an issue at all. So like I'm doing some extra stuff here. It does not need to happen. Like you would like do whatever you can to make it so you do as much damage as possible. But you can see here we're attacking. We do 12 damage. He hits him. Oh, nice. He regen. We do whatever. It, it just goes that way. So he dies and we do another 12. And that's pretty much how the game works. Is it is the game too loud? Maybe should I turn it down? And then at the end of it, you get a score for funsies. And then you get spoils, you get money, and you get card packs. Ooh, card packs. Oh shit. Just a little bit. I'll turn it down. In game, that is. So the globals. What are you what do we say here? 15% down? 20%? It could be lower. 30% down. Maybe? Okay, so we got the 50 bucks, and now we got to choose a card here. So this is how you fortify your deck and just make it awesome and stuff. That's good. Thank you, Blakey. You got anything going on for the rest of the day? What time is it for you? I forgot, like two or three hours ahead. I don't remember. Maybe two hours, right? Uh. All right. Almost seven. Five. It's two hours. Okay, armor. Uh, so armor goes before health and it does not go away until it hits us so that's good that's really good that's really useful open a package supposed to wow it's hella late i think they usually uh like amazon and ups 
deliver before 8 p.m. I think that's what they usually say. Event, this one's a pretty strong one. Two times your mana to the whole floor. That's pretty good. And this is another minion. It's not terrible. It takes up one slot. Minion. Oh, I'll get the minion. And then this is a green card. So we got a red one, which is and green ones. So some of them are, you know, like the green one is primarily focused on healing and stuff. Uh, the the other ones like fire and all that stuff. This one's pretty good. Consume is one time for the run. Uh, sorry for the for the fights, and then you won't redraw it. Regen five is pretty good. This one's interesting. Deal three, move that unit to the front. So you hit an enemy and then you pull them forward. That's zero. That's pretty good. Uh, restore 10 to a friendly unit heal the damage equal to times five so this potentially could do up to 50 damage if i have a unit that has 50 health a lot of pokemon cards hold oh, shit pokemon do we do vine grasp i just got an attack card so we might as well um, let's get the restoration detonation so that's floor one now I get to choose one of two pathways to go. So Merchant of Steel is um, buying another unit. Oh, sorry, up, it's a shop. Yeah, yeah, okay, I, I forgot. <laughs> okay, but the banners, the Hellhorn, I uh, get another red card, I get another green card. I think Merchant is buying, buying, oh God, what the hell are these? I don't remember. Buying monsters and buying other stuff. I'll go to Merchant of Magic. Forge your spells. Oh, there you go. It just says here. Forge your spells to gain new power. So this is a really cool thing here. Ah, here we go. So this is random. So you can pay to remove a card, you can randomize and refresh the shop, or you can just buy one of these straight out. So we can. Uh, so every card we have. Let's see. Select. Yes. Every card can be upgraded to some capacity. I think up to two. Uh, yeah, it has two upgrades on a card that you can do. So upgrade to make it cost one less, 20 bucks, that's very easy. So that's really good. Um, upgrade to plus 10 magic power, that's amazing. So for example, if I put on here, it does 12 damage, that's amazing. Double a spell to gain double stack and cost plus one. What's double stack? Status effects stacks are added. So this one, a uh, double stack, meaning for example, if I have regen one, it'll go regen two on a card, but it makes it cost two mana. So it's a little interesting that way. Uh, so I'm only gonna get the spell cost. Let's grab the spell cost. I'll make this one cost zero. This one's really good. And then I will get the plus magic power. Oh, you can do the regen too. You can do the regen or you can put that to 20. I'm gonna put it on a on an attacking card and I will remove a card from my deck for 50 bucks. Should I? I'll save my money a little bit. And then get a free unit here. Ah, nice. Okay, steel worker, resolve. Resolve triggers every single, um, every turn, at the end of your turn. After combat, sorry. Apply five armor to friendly units. So he's a somewhat support, but he's pretty strong. Uh, rage four, rage increases two per stack. So he starts with eight extra damage and every turn he loses two. Slay, so uh, hitting, killing a unit gives you more rage to everyone on the floor. He's pretty, so he's a fighting guy. Fighting guy, and this was more of a, um, a defensive guy, I'll go over the defensive guy. And then another battle. So you, you do this a couple times and you reach the final boss at the end of the run. Barba Disciples. So these spiked foes will make the Rex attack more painful. Okay. So you gotta be careful. Oh shit. Alright, so this guy does not attack, but he has two spikes. This guy. Other friendly uh, gains at spikes. So we can probably kill that guy. I'm just gonna torch that guy's ass. Unfortunately, I have to use my strong torch for the one HP minion. Now this guy obtains zero spikes. So he's nothing. He This guy is nothing. I can let him go forward. This guy's a pussy. He does nothing, right? So I'm gonna put on the horn breaker here and I'm gonna put on the steel worker, which is apply five armor to all my units. So I'll put him in the front so he blocks. This does nothing. Uh, I'll put a train steward down on the front. So this guy does nothing. He's just going to take 22 and move on to the next floor. So luckily we killed his buffer. He does nothing. Later, sucker. So he does, he does nothing. Nice. Okay. All right. This looks fun. So this guy does zero, four damage, and apply spike and does one damage. Luckily, we drew two torches. So uh, 
Yeah, that was pretty easy. So, uh, get fucked. Go attack. And look at that. We're getting more armor. More and more armor on the bottom there. A brief respite. So the armor just keeps stacking. Um, I would like to summon this guy in the... Eh. Okay, so that guy's dead. Don't need to worry about that. This guy is going to die on this floor. Uh, okay, so I'm going to put the train steward here. This guy is supposed to... He does something when you put him down. But I'm only gonna I'm just gonna put him down because he's the only one that fits on the slot and he he can tank and attack Regen one is useless to put on anybody. So this is this is nothing else to do All right, and he gets armor so he tanks another attack so this guy activated spikes again So we do 90 damage unless you do something no spikes. He's dead. We won so it, it's pretty easy the first time you, you play just so they let you know how exactly how it works. And I think it's a little loud again. Like seriously, what the fuck? Why are you so loud, dog? Want to speed up combat? I'll speed it up in the next run or two. Okay, I'll speed it up. That's good enough. One, two, three, four. Okay, there's four different speeds. We'll go times two. 50 bucks and two cards again. Apply 10 rage. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah, he got loud. I don't know why. Oh, another minion, another imp. Uh, rage to friendly units. That's pretty good. Piercing times two. Ignores armor. I'll grab another imp. And sting. This one's pretty good. 10 damage and I draw plus one. That's good. Another restoration. Heal 25, draw two. I want the plus draw. Do you guys still play um, Fantasy Star Online, New Genesis? I tried to download it on my Xbox One. It runs like shit, so I had to delete it. Maybe if I get an Xbox Series S, I might download it again on there. I don't want to play it on my PC. Like, Fantasy Star, I, I want to play on my couch. I want to play in bed and just chillax and just play like that. I don't want to sit here and play an MMO. Okay, so this one is a free treasure, and he, a pyre's remains is health. And ca uh, concealed caverns is a random event. Merchant of Magic and another banner. Um, I think we'll upgrade the card again. New content? I really hope so. I heard there, was, there really wasn't a lot. There really wasn't a lot of content. Okay, upgrade again. Spell power up. Double stack. It's all the same stuff. Okay, I think I'll... Let's roll. Let's put this down again. I can make this one cost zero, which is really good. And plus magic power. I think what's oh, this is good. This is a free card, but it's it's a unit in the front. But it is a lot of damage. I got to the to be continued part. Really? What's the max level? Like 20 or something? I will remove a card. I'm gonna remove a basic restore because we do have the, the good restore now. Oh, we can also remove train stewards, but I don't have that many units. 20? I hit it? I hit it on the on the head? That's funny. I nailed it. Alright. Another unit. Whoa, this guy's 10. Look at this. Negative 3 per imp units in play. So if I'm lucky to get two of my imps out, this guy goes down to what? Down to 6 to 4 mana? I don't even have 4 mana. So he's unplayable as of right now. I guess I grab another steel worker. Genshin grinding. I like Genshin. I liked it. It just took up too much of my time. Unfortunately, if I wasn't a content creator trying to play new games to upload and review, I'd play that all day still. You know, I like gacha games. Taught the ways to make money in the game? Well, how is it? I would like this guy, but I, he's, he's literally unplayable right now. And you have to have imps, so it's it's kind of tough. I don't know. I think I'll just get the steel worker for now. All right, here's a random event. Whoa, hello. Okay, what does she want? We can read that if we want. I don't care. Give her the choice. Uh, do nothing or get this. this sh I get this card. Deal six to enemy units two times. Slay plus one on the floor. So if I kill a unit. I end up getting plus one, um, that's really good. Plus one capacity, that's actually awesome. Free card. Too bad I can't upgrade that one, that would've been sick. Uh, plus 10 damage. 16 times two, that'd be cool. 
Alright, this guy is a boss character. Constructed explosives enter with damaged shield. Uh oh. Alright, good thing we have a lot of shields. This is a boss. He moves on the floor freely. He triggers a bomb every turn. So luckily, so if you have anything on the floor, what he's going to do is he's going to trigger for 10 damage and kill anything in front. Uh, there's nobody there. So that's cool. <laughs> so he has 250 health. So there's, there's a couple ways to deal with boss fights. You can try to fight him as the turns go on or just continue building the floor up. And then he starts from the bottom and goes up like a regular fight. So he just yeah, messes with the floor, but whatever. Okay. Uh, this is not good. I don't have any flame cards in my hand. That's not good. So how much damage am I taking? Six damage on the floor? Six damage? Yeah, we'll do that. So yeah, this is... I didn't get any attack cards. That's not good. Uh, we'll put the restore plus one. I'm taking zero damage. Look at that. Why am I taking zero? Oh, because... Um, wait, wait. Triggers after combat. So aren't I taking six? I'm supposed to be taking six. And then I heal for one to go to five. I guess that thing happens first. I can do an extra restore. So that blows up. No one's there. Ugh. So we, yeah, it didn't let me know we lose five HP. He dies. Uh oh, it's because of that damage shield. That damage shield's tough. It nullifies the next source of damage, meaning we have to hit it twice in one turn for it to work. These guys keep slowly going up. That's not good at all. So I think what I want to do here is I want to use this. Deal six to enemy units. I don't know how this works. Is it to all the units? It's the whole floor? The whole floor times two? Holy shit, that's OP. That's really good. Okay, now for this one here. Uh, Let's see here. This does five damage to the front, does not kill him. I can do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna summon this minion here. And I will take this guy out. I'll take this guy out. Ooh, woo. Actually, I'll do this. Perfect. And then this guy has plus one regen, so he actually obtains. So he takes three. Yeah, three. Yeah, I wish it like separated because it's saying I get plus three net, which means I get one more HP and uh, two more armor to get plus three health because I get five at the end. But I wish it like, you know, had it, had it separate so I know exactly how much health I'm getting because that does matter sometimes. Uh, I don't want this guy to hurt me. I have to hit this thing twice, which I think I, think I might. So I think I will torch it twice. So we take zero damage here. So it, it doesn't kill my little guy. Uh, he gets plus five armor. And then for here, I'm going to get the rage. Oh shit. Look how much capacity we have. That's cool. Uh, yeah, let's get plus five rage. I think we just put him in the front. No, I'll put him in the second slot. Second slot. Wow. That guy's super dead. No more mana. Look at that. So they're hitting the boss because they can. Attack that guy. Man, the rage is good. Nice, the top floor. Guess what? No one's there. Get wrecked. All right. 20 damage to the guy in the front. Uh, torch to the guy in the back. Regen the guy in the front. And train steward. I can put train steward here. We have room. Jesus Christ. That's a really strong card. That one hammer thing I got. Was that a permanent? Yeah, permanent, meaning not consumed. So I can, yeah, that's really good. Times two though for the floor. Wow, that's really I can do it again. Oh my god, it's the best card to grab right now. Look at that. Torch for 12. He has one HP. Hit him again. So we, we're going to hit the boss for 52 damage. Wait, does he attack the full? No, he just. Okay. Uh, I can summon another train steward. 52 damage goes to 57. Really? Look at how much like crap we have on this floor. This boss. Look at that. Five armor. Oh, he's dead. I thought this was the uh, the floor where it, you know, what's it called? Relentless floor. 
It's all good. Get fucked, bitch. All right, easy. So unless things go terribly wrong, I should be able to beat the first run. Uh, just because I played this game a lot. Ooh, ooh, get fucked. Wow, look at that. Okay, 75 bucks, and we get a uh, a nice card. Cycle of Life. 10 HP and 3 spikes. So 10 HP max. That's really good. And 3 spikes. They take damage. Restore friendly units to full health. So everyone on that floor. Impolate. Deal damage to the front enemy to 15 times the imp units in your deck. So at the moment, it's 30 damage. So the more imps I get, the better. I really like Impolate. I think it's pretty useful. Since I'm collecting a bunch of imps, I might as well do that. We get another card here. Another steel worker. Uh, or I'll, I'll probably get a green card. So okay, when you summon it, he gains 60 HP to go to 75. He rejuvenates, triggers when healed, even a full health. Triggers when healed. So whenever we hit him with the heal, he gets spikes three. So this guy's really good for defending. And a multi strike three. Really, really weak. But he does three nine damage. Uh, I'll grab this guy, and then we grab one of these. So one more HP, one more draw, or one more capacity. We definitely, at the moment, probably just want this. Energy, energies. I'm hungry. Where's my burrito? All right, unstable vortex is a card to just remove. Hell vents. Uh, I don't remember exactly what that was. Merchant of steel. Okay, where to go this way? So we got the uh, remove up to two cards. Jesus Christ, two cards? That's pretty good. All right, we're going to get rid of one shit torch. And uh, one shit torch and one shit restore. Because we're going to have, yeah, one shit restore. That's good. Duplicate a card. Oh, shit, really? Do I just want the good old windmaker? This is really good because you can duplicate cards that you, you, you've upgraded. So it's really nice that way. Wow, okay, this is a good choice here. Um, I can get another imp or I can get double impolate. Double impolate sounds really good. But this sounds this is for the whole floor. Whew, that's pretty good. I'm gonna get double double windmaker. Wingmaker. Too bad I wasn't able to upgrade it beforehand though. Okay, another awakened moment one. Another one of these. Cultivate. What's cultivate? Increase the attack and HP of the friendly unit with the lowest health by the cultivate. Cultivate is new. That's new. Okay, I'll grab cultivate. Upgrade your champion. Okay, so we can go two different ways here. So this is more armor and multi strike. So he lives longer. This one's for just way more damage. 25 times 2. He does 50 damage if he survives. And if he kills a monster, he gets plus 10 slate. That's those guys are really good. We have a lot of uh, tanky cards, so I you know, put them in the back, right? Look at these bitch. Okay, so you so they activated the ability for you to want to activate a challenge here to get more stuff. You don't have to do it, but I'll do it. 150 bucks, but everyone gets plus six six uh, attack. Very dangerous. Damn, dude, really? I didn't get any attack cards? Any magic cards? Okay. So this guy is 50 armor. This guy has a weight of con uh, contrition. So if he's able to live, every turn he will add a, a shit card to my deck. I could put these two on the first floor. And we can start cultivating. Well, no, I don't have any heal cards. God dang. I think I might just... Maybe... I don't want to leave the first floor unattended because this guy's... This guy's an asshole. It's Absolver. But I do not have a way to do anything about that. So the damage we're taking is 13 damage. So actually, yeah. Yeah. I'll set this up. I need to start attacking them. So that first guy's dead. And I might as well put a train steward here and here. I really don't want to put another one down because we have so many good cards now. I can't just like destroy a unit. We have two steel workers. 
You know, we have another Thornton Hollow, so I don't want to drop the card down. Okay, so I better get some sort of like a healing card next turn. Otherwise, this guy's going to die. Look at that. A minion got summoned. So this thing, um, you kill him, you get 75 bucks. He'll run away though. Nice hand. I have no heal cards. That's not good. This guy's dead. That sucks. I lose him. That's unfortunate. Um, okay, so let's see here. I like how he has three health. I'm doing two. Let's see here. Yeah, this is not good. This is no oh, breeze back with T. I want to kill this guy because he'll keep uh, muddying up my deck. So we're going to go ahead and hit this guy for 12, unfortunately. Oh, it's zero. Zero cost stuff. I'm going to do double attack here because I want the money. Greedy as fuck. Uh, this guy's going to die no matter what I do. So we'll activate this. Reserve. So you purge it. If you keep it in your hand, you lose HP. I'm gonna have to just do this. So I, I lost my big guy. That sucks. And then my main guy got hit a little bit. They're all moving up. So this is uh, not looking good. This guy's super dead. Okay. Ah, I got another strong minion here. That's good. I can get this guy to rejuvenate, or I can get this guy to get some armor. Ass asses. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and sting this guy, though. I'm gonna do Molten Imp here. And I will, I will summon... It's a lot of stuff. Mm, yeah, I'll play this guy here. So he's gonna tank it up, and then I'll put this here. There. Oh man, this is a pretty good like floor here. Both these guys keep giving uh, armor to each other, and then I gotta activate my restore. Restore. There you go. So he got spikes. Three. He's not dead. Okay. Armor up. I'm just kidding. He died. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh my god. See the challenge really Fs everything up. Damn, the freaking good old Windmaker? The Wingmaker might be good to actually use here. I'm gonna do this here. So I get uh, room for Train Steward. Put the Train Steward here. Or do I? I can do Wingmaker here too. This guy's not dead. Impolate does not kill him. Train Steward will tank an attack. I can't play this. So I keep it, and then I take three damage for holding the curse. These guys are armoring up. This guy will kill my steward, but I kill him. Now we get a free turn to chill. I can heal. That's good. I will heal. Um, This floor, I think we want to put the imp on. Rage does go away, but that's all right. Heal. Restore. Heal. So the rage goes down, but there's enough rage up here. Look at this bullshit. <gasps> I got another Wingmaker. Train Steward. 12 damage. I can attack once here, so it takes 90 damage out. Look at that shit. Alright, we won. The, the middle floor is freaking crazy strong. My champion! And Wingmaker's awesome. I don't want to use this. Impolate. Wingmaker. Yeah, torch. The torches are almost useless at the beginning until you upgrade them. Oh, dude. He has so much armor. Oh, my God. Dude, two of those steel makers are so good. Da, 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 da. I got the extra 150 bonus for doing the challenge. Another fledgling. Here's a battering ram. Three mana. Deal damage to the front enemy equal to four times of armor. That's really good. It's a little situational. I think we're going to continue getting our imps. <gasps> Regen's good. Glimmer, this one's pretty good. Two, da uh, two health to everyone, two damage to everybody. I think I'm going to grab the regen five. All right, we got a random thing. How did it work out for you? Oh, she's. Well, you're not gonna let me come. 
Oh, we get her to join our team now. Trample. She's 50-50? Resolve. Oh my god, this hero is crazy good. Are you kidding? That hero's crazy. What the fuck? OP. They really don't want you to lose. Alright, how far left do we have? So we're on the floor five, right? So looks like there is nine floor well, eight floors. Oh yeah, and then the boss at the end there. Cool. Okay, so we have uh, let's see the unstable vortex merchant of magic. We're gonna go get the merchant of magic and get rid of more cards. I want to upgrade my shit. Can I do them in order? You can do them in different orders since when? Do, 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 do. Uh, upgrade, remove a card, randomize, double stack, double stack, hmm. magic power plus <laughs> ten. We definitely want that on probably Wingmaker. We're gonna get on Wingmaker, one of them anyway. <laughs> double stack, we double stack the regen for this one to make it ten. That's really good. <laughs> and we can also just make it cost cheaper if we want. We can make it cost one. I'm making a class one. I'm going to refresh. Magic power and consume. That's good. Uh, I think it's good to... Yeah, it's good to do that. 26 times 2 and it goes away. That's really good. And hold over. When played, this card is placed on the top of your draw pile. Oh, shit, dude. We have to put it over this one, right? Wingmaker. So we get 32 damage every time after we use it. That's fucking OP. Now, negative spell cost. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Impolate. Free impolate card. Yeah. And we will remove card for 75 bucks. Uh, we have uh, the good old Wingmaker now, so maybe we can get rid of another torch. No, I'll get rid of a train steward. They're annoying. They're useless when we don't want to put them down. Now we can remove extra two cards. I will remove one more train steward. How many minions do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight units. I don't need these train stewards. And you can go back to this. That's neat. Wow, we spent all of our money there. That was good. Boop, 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 boop. Um, non-boss enemies will restore health when they move up a floor, but you get a random artifact. Uh, we'll just go to go for the win this time. I'm hungry already. <sighs> Feed me. Oh, these guys have stealth. I cannot hurt them for the turn. But they attack me, which means we can get spikes on this guy. That's good. We can get spikes. So I will restore 10 health and deal damage to the enemy in front. And he survives. Should I put Steelworker there to give him armor? I think I will. Let's give this guy armor. Let's keep him alive. All right, we're going to have to put a Horn Prince on this next floor. And then let's put the Imp here. Why not? Too bad I didn't draw my Wingmaker. That thing would be OP. That's really good for this, this place. Look at that. Get fucked. Oh, the minion on the top. How annoying. Okay, let's see. The second floor, I could put a steel worker down. That's good. Yeah, Brady, do it. Regen. So I put a regen on this guy. Do I get it at the end of when I stop? Hmm. Okay, so we want this here. Definitely want that there. And I'm gonna. So that guy's dead. He's damaging him, right? So he's damaging him. Cultivate. I'm not really cultivating anything, unfortunately. Armor and harvest. When a unit dies on the floor, gain 10 armor. So if I do... Hold on. This guy's dead, right? He's not taking any damage. Why does he say zero? Regen. Cards will consume. Blah, blah, blah. Go away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. Uh, okay. We'll put a steel worker down. I don't know if I want to put a steel worker down here or here. Because I do have my gigantic other minion coming out. I'll probably put it here. <sighs> Might as well hit this guy. 
yoink. <laughs> Plus rejuvenate and spikes. Look at these guys. I should get the wing maker. Huh? There you go. 100% wing maker, baby. Now we have room to put down a blacksmith on this floor. Wait, the resolve is plus one? Jesus Christ, the resolve? At the end of every turn, we get plus one on this floor? That hero's crazy. Uh, so what's happening on this floor? This guy, everyone lives. I'm going to put more restore on this guy so we get some more spikes. Unfortunately, I don't have enough heal for this guy to cultivate. He's not even cook. He's not doing anything, really. He's just cultivating nothing. Zero cost. Get fucked. Probably hit or should have hit the second guy. Rejuvenate. Damn, modified it. Here's my other. Oh my god, we always get the wing maker back. That's really good. Wing maker. I can summon more minions on this floor, dude. This guy's not dead. He has 16 extra health. Or does he? Alright, impolate this guy. He's dead. I'll summon this guy so he can tank a hit. And we will reduce restore again to get spikes. Wait, does he cult can he cultivate himself? Easy freaking room, dude. Yeah, I should have done it. The lowest cultivate value, so he should so he will be cultivating himself. Oh, I should, probably should have just done that. It doesn't matter. It's not like we're losing this one. So I'll do this so we get it back. Activate this for the extra draw. Do this for the rage. And that's it. The bottom floor is freaking like filled, dude. I don't know how many, uh, how much extra, uh, you know, shit we can have on that bottom floor there. Wing maker. It's over, dude. Like, what the hell, dude? We're so strong. I'll give you some regen. The BM. Damn. Wow. I wonder if that uh that hero just shows up randomly. It's it's probably just for the first like it has to be a set one for the first uh for the first run. It's too strong. Alright. Another minion. I need to maybe get hold over if I'm if possible for my impolate. Cause it's yeah, hold over. That'd be really nice. Gain four mana when you summon this guy. Uh, yeah, more minions since we have a ton of stuff. Plus one draw each turn. That's pretty good. If he survives, that is. All right. Concealed merchants of magic, merchants of trinkets. I'm going to go here. We don't need to heal, but I do want to see. Well, money, trinkets, unstable vortex. Oh, these are both really nice. The pyre remains as useless, but the merchant of magic might give me the holdover I want. I think we're gonna. Yeah, it's better to do this. All right, let's start with the forgotten boons. I will remove more cards, meaning uh, goodbye train steward, and I'm gonna get rid of some shit torch. Now we will buy an artifact. I can remove a card too. Your pirate gets 40, friendly units get plus 5 HP, pirate... Okay, this is really good. This is very useful. I'll buy that. So that's permanent. It's at the very top right there. Boss time. Okay. Fell and her allies will add scourge cards, which is the curses that hurt me if I don't play them. Look at that. He summons a mobile. So he probably buffs these guys. I gotta be careful. This guy in the back, I gotta kill him. I have no way of attacking him this turn. Why does that always happen, dude? Oh my god. Alright. Ah, the spiker. This guy's five health. Okay. I'm gonna actually keep this in my hand. I need to play stuff. I need to set up the board. So we'll do this. We'll add regen so he starts getting stuff. And do I... No, I don't want to... Ar I think we'll leave him on his own. Uh, no, I should... Uh, yeah. 
yeah, we'll set this up. We'll set these guys up here. And unfortunately, I can't play this, so take damage. So we're gonna get hit. One. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Spikes to rejuvenate. There's more of them. Oh, uh, there's my hammer. Hold over. Nice. I could put him on this floor too. Look at that. I could have him cultivate. Wow. These guys can be super strong and cultivate each other. So this is like the craziest floor I've ever seen in my life. It's pretty cool. So now they can help cultivate each other. That's interesting. So that's dead. These guys are dead. Guess I'll just hit this guy for no reason. Purge that. So these guys are slowly getting armor on the second floor, third floor. He's cultivating while the other guy is gaining regen. They're so tank. They're so tanky. All right. Please give me the thing again. Okay, I got the wingmaker. Okay, we'll just use the good one. This guy's dead. I do take damage. We can impolate him so I take zero damage. Or I can activate the wingmaker again so we can kill him and get the extra resolve. And with the extra resolve, we get the trap. We get the. Oh, she doesn't fit there. Damn it. It's okay. She costs two. Okay. Damn, she costs two. Shit. Nah, I guess I'll put this on here. Should I put him in the front? No, here. I can impolate this bitch. Uh, two damage. Damn. It's okay. Our deck size isn't that big. We'll get her back soon. The bottom floor is crazy good, though. All right, and we're going to keep every turn. We keep drawing our wing maker. So as long as we keep killing tiny units like this, we can keep summoning minions like, like so. Uh, restore 10. Deal damage to 50 damage. Wow, that was good. What should I do about this? I always, I always want this guy to do the spike stuff. Hmm. There's probably a good chance we can uh, increase the size of that floor. Maybe we'll just do some throwaway minions up here. Yeah, there's no reason to do this, but whatever. Look at all this extra mana I got. Because I summoned the, the fat guy. He's a fat boy. His spikes is at 12. It's really good. Draw plus one each turn. Good old wing maker. It's not killing anybody. Even if I, uh, he's not killing anybody. 58, 40, yeah, yeah, they're not dead. God, they're so, they're so tanky. Five to all my units. I think I'll put this guy here. Okay, we're gonna get this guy up here. Oh, mm, pyre damage? Let's get rid of the pyre damage. 12 damage. Let's do this. These guys on this floor is getting strong. Rejuvenate. I love it, dude. Every time, every floor, every time we can do this. So now we have two spots on that. I can do this. Maybe we can sting this guy. Regen. So this guy still has 10 regen on him. I guess 5 regen. So we want to put this down to heal him and cultivate him. So strong. So strong. Attack, attack. So they're attacking the boss because he's nothing in front of him. Boom, boom. 35, 35. Get fucked. My main hero champion is not getting slay bonus. I just realized. Oh, well. So that guy's dead there. Everyone's taking a lot of health. Uh, so I can summon, actually, I don't, I could summon her, the strongy, but I think we're just going to get rid of the penances. I don't think uh, we'll have an issue with this fight. Final wave. So this guy does uh 10 times two. Oh, that's interesting. All right. Get rid of the purge. We'll heal somebody 10, 78. Pulling. Do some 12 damage here. Impolate his ass. Get the plus one draw. Put it at the very top. 
All right, so the bottom floor is gonna die, but they're not. He's not making it. He's not making it. Speed it up a little bit. Monkey ass. That was a very good floor. Jeez. Honestly, I don't have to do anything on this one. They're just dead. Yeah. Take this. I summoned the hair of. Oh, she doesn't fit. All right, whatever. She's not needed. Very good. <laughs> that guy never died at the top. He got the sleigh after all. Nice. Ooh, 100 bucks. Rare card. Consume quick. We attack before the enemy. What's up, cheesies? This is a really good one. This is good to use for my for my hero, so he can get the slay off. Apply Ted and spikes three. This is also pretty good. Just add three spikes and health. I think we'll get the wildwood home. Good. And uh, one more health. I mean, one more mana. I don't think that's needed. Maybe the draw each turn capacity is useful. Or maybe we do want that because we are gonna get the draw from the minion. So we don't need the draw if it lives. And capacity? No, yeah, give me the mana plugin. Capacity will go up as long as we can, you know, get our spells off correctly. Nice. All right, all right. Let's finish this run. All right, all right. Let's 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 continue. Let's continue. Oof. I was gonna break. Good eats. What the hell are we doing? Uh, I don't remember. Okay, we just... Oh, we're choosing one of these. We just finished killing something? What's our, what's our deck? We have a ton of ore, a ton of impus, uh, characters here. We gotta get rid of shit torches. Our deck looking good. Uh, it was looking fine. Alright. Let's go Merchant of Steel to upgrade our minions. <clears throat> Let's get the uh, random event here. Woo! Build a b build a card, build a card. The shield, create a frostbite, create a rage, armor effect. Pull, descend, offend. Uh, descend. Increases that. Increases card draw. Increase this. Apply 10 armor, descend the unit plus one. Oh, that's hella good. <laughs> Give me that. That's a cool event. Make your own card. I like that. Remove up to two cards. All right. Get rid of shit torch. And get rid of shit torch. We have the good AOE cards now. And now we can upgrade our units. Upgrade with money. Endless. When this guy dies or eaten, redraw it. That's that's pretty good. 25 health. Attack and health. Upgrade a unit with 25 health. Let's see. Probably the spikes. Attack and health. Wow, that's pretty good for you. Cultivate. Attack and health. Maybe we just upgrade the rejuvenate even more. <clears throat> an endless? We can get an endless imp. Endless rage. Endless five. Probably endless rage is the best. <clears throat> Alright. Let's go. Alright, that was whatever's. Upgrade my champion. Make him more tankier or even more damage. Multi strike more. Armor 15. <laughs> um, maybe some starting armor. All right, let's go. <clears throat> non uh, boss units start with spikes. You know what? Let's just get to the end here. I got this. Ooh, ate too much pretty. Help. All right, straight damage. This guy's the damager and this guy's a resolver. Okay. Dude, I can summon these two on one floor. But the thing is, though, there's, 
They're kind of weak. Dude, I can do quick. Oh, we can do a quick one, though. That's kind of scary. Oh, man. Uh, if I do this, I only have 11 HP. He'll die with that. He'll 100% die. I can do this. Okay, we can... We're doing it. Okay, you trample. And you get quick. Torch the guy in the back. Wow, we almost killed this guy. Alright. That was a good turn, actually. <coughs> so she keeps upgrading that floor. It's pretty good. Descend a unit? Oh, shit. We can descend to cultivate the bottom floor. I won't be able to kill this top floor, unfortunately. Well, five and five. No, I can. I can. I can do five and five. No, I can't. I can. I could kill if I descend it. I can do an enemy. I can do myself or enemies. So this thing works on everybody. So I can be super cheeky, or I can just forget the money. Um, because for sure next turn we're gonna we're gonna draw the uh, thing to kill this gilded wing. Damn, I don't know. <sighs> Hold on. Do 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 do. Uh, I think we'll do... Damn, that's tough. Alright, we'll have to do spikes. Yeah, we'll just do this. Yeah, yeah, we'll do this. Okay, so he does die. And then we can put this guy... We can cultivate this guy on the bottom floor. One, two, three. Do, 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 uh, actually, is he cultivate? This is spikes. This guy's cultivate. Right, hold on, I'm digging. Um, okay, we're gonna put this guy down. Yeah, Brady, do what you gotta do. All right, so this guy's on the bottom now, so he's giving us that. So this guy's dead. Now we can do this. We can cultivate. We can summon for no reason. Are right, we good? All right, that was a good floor. He gave us the resolve curse, though. So that's all right. Can I put? Dude, my deck size is not that large. Can I get my wing makers? Jesus! All right, what's happening on this floor? Interesting. Well, I have five, so no point not doing this right away. All right. Guess we steel worker this one. Steel work, draw. This is endless. Let's put this guy here because he's endless. Okay, see, good thing we got rid of those stupid uh, stewards. Finally, Wingmaker. Should I put it here or this one? This one. I can put two now. Regen Ted. I could put on her. She really needs it. But it's better to start getting the the stacks just in case. Cultivate stacks as well. Twenty damage. This guy in the bottom's already dead. Leave him alone. Purge. All right. Yeah, the bottom lane's a little uh, a little meh. Brief respite. All right. We get all the wingmaker back. That's good. I guess act. I'm gonna activate this. That guy's super dead. Now, for Impolate's free. I'll just activate this. Uh, five to the front. Purge away. And let's keep getting the regen. Keep getting the cultivate. Shaggy, he's barking, little bitch. All right, we got a free turn. Activate that to get it back. Draw next turn. Uh, okay, we'll get Rage in the front. We'll just do a basic heal. Yeah, we'll heal it up. I can 12. I'll 12 damage the endless minion so I can get him back. He's not dead. <laughs> he's too strong. This guy's probably dead. Yeah, he's dead. Nice. Didn't even have to do anything. And guess what? I could put this guy down here. Boosh. That's a, such a good card. I can't believe that card is not a, uh, like a consume card. It's freaking crazy. Cultivate. 
Yeah, we have a very strong, uh, strong deck. Considering this is Ascension Zero, though. And the slay. Good shit. <clears throat> All right. Consume Rage and Armor. Return a random consume spell to your hand. That's pretty good. Because my deck right now, the consume is this strong one for freaking 52 damage. And the quick and the wood sap. So this is a pretty good minion. Restore, restore one health, gain one, draw one. I mean that that's actually pretty good. It it'll uh, proc our uh, cards. Okay, uh, we can go heal here, upgrade the magic, upgrade the minions, get rid of cards. Do I need to get rid of any cards? If I were, it'd get rid of the shit restores, right? But I don't have that many restores. That's the thing. The deck's pretty good. I can upgrade the minions again. I would upgrade the steel workers. Let's go this way. All right, let's get rid of some cards. I will get rid of one restore. And maybe the second one. We can probably just maybe get another one. Yeah. We'll find more. Artifacts. Gain four stacks of armor each time it is applied to friendly units. Huh? Four stacks of... Wait, wait. Every time we get armor, it just gives four more. That's pretty good. Apply root to the enemies when they go to the pyre room before. Eh, this is fine. Upgrade, upgrade, multi-strike unit. Yes, please. She's hella strong now. Five and ten. It's pretty good. We'll put it on some steel workers. Twenty HP. Put on the other steel worker. It's pretty good. No need to refresh. All right, we have the boss yet? <clears throat> Where are we at? Oh, we're on the final boss. Sweet. Is it? The Seraph. All right. He removes any buffs and debuffs from him. That's okay. We have some, but we'll see what happens. Okay, let's see. Not a good start. I guess we'll set up on the second floor. No, I have quick. We don't have to set up on the second floor. But this guy's going to move up. Okay, well, we're setting up here. I think I'll, I'll give her the quick. He has the slay, but she has trample multi strike. Holy shit, look at that. They're just straight dead. I, I don't know. I'll give that to him. Alright, kill this guy. Alright, that was a pretty good first turn. Her trample. Oh my god, her trample's so fucking good. Easy. Okay, we hit two. Pow, pow. And then... Oh, he hits three, so pow, pow, pow. So, And then she hits him for 50 times two. Okay, let's set up the other floors then. Uh, Let's see. I can do one, two, three, four, five. Too bad I don't have my rage units. I right, want we'll to set this one up. Spikes. Cultivate. Okay, we'll get spikes up. Spikes. Armor. I guess we'll just do this. Let's get it started in here. Let's get it started in here. That's all we can do. That's a look at that freaking bottom floor. Perfect. Pow. Slay. 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 100 damage. OP, dude. Look at that. Okay, so that floor is good. This floor? Okay, we're going to increase the amount of stuff we can put on there. That's really good. Return a consumed card to my hand. Where's my consumed deck? Consume pile. Oh, okay. Give me that. I put this on the top. I have no room. 
Where I put it? I guess I put it here. Oh my god, give consume to her now. Jesus! Oh, sorry. Quick. Double quick? It's over. Heal 10, draw 1 plus. Oh man, armor up? It's freaking over, dude. I have nowhere to put this yet. Yeah, it's over. Armor 9. It's 9 because of the freaking rail spike thing we got. Regen 10. What's this one? Is this spike or cultivate spikes? Alright, let's see. I got another one of these. Impolate this bitch. Damn, I should have. I don't want to cultivate guy. You know what? Fuck this, dude. More armor on the first floor. It, it's over. They just can't handle the first floor, GG. Might as well add this to my lady. Bully. Zero damage taken. Oh my god, see? Freaking strong this is. Oh my god. They can't handle it. And we have quick too, so it's freaking nuts. Double consume. Wingmaker again. Rage to everyone? If I have more rage to everyone. It's over, dude. The room has reached the limit. The effects will fail. Hadouken! <laughs> If the uh, enemy side is full, enemies moving up will bypass the room. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, so you can't have more than seven? I did not know that. It's all good. It's not like we're putting any more down. It's over, dude. Hmm. I like how you can increase the limit, though. Hit that guy. I can't see what's happening. I can't see. There's a little bit of lag. You know what? I'm going to get rid of the static, uh, the background and see if it makes it easier to see. I can't tell if the FPS is here or not. All right. Rickin hold over. Uh, impolate, <laughs> impolate, sting. There's no reason to. Well, might as well drop this guy down. Do some extra damage. Whatever. Okay. Get fucked. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> oh my god. All right, we won. Yeah, they really gave me everything I needed to win this first run. That was good. It doesn't matter what I play now. Look, he can't even get first past my first imp. The armor is insane. Ooh, and the prince gets the kill. Nice. Victory. Cool. And that's how the game is played. Poggies. My score? Covenant rank. So this is like a Slay the Spire Ascensions. Oh, you level up your, uh, your your clans by playing them to unlock more cards for future use. <laughs> Impressive. A toot. See, this would this would have been nice to have in my deck. Conserve mana between turns. Pretty good. Spreading spores. Two regen. Two spikes. I think they changed the art on this. Looks different. Ah, oh, nice. Cool. So if you look at all this, it shows you exactly what you've won with, and the cards that you've that you've completed to run with. So if you, like the challenges are to pretty much just beat 
all the ascensions with everybody with all the different types of combinations and with every type of card in your deck so there's a lot there's a lot so pretty much when you click new run it's gonna give you some options now so here we are so there's lots of clans to unlock look at that so this is the new one I haven't played yet hopefully we can get it so you start with the first two of course what's this unlocks at level five. Oh, there's a different version of every hero as well so this has quite a lot of re uh, quite a lot of replayability dude quite a lot of replayability I have not played with the extra heroes yet so pretty much we're almost playing with, with 12 different heroes right so if you want you can choose your, this as your primary guy and that's your uh, person there that's cool so covenant enemies are stronger uh, blah blah are available. What's blah blah? Add additional. I don't know what that is. All right, interesting. Yeah, I don't know what the hell that thing is there. 25 ranks. So yeah, there's a lot to do. So um, I'll leave this as a mob impressions video on the channel. And if people want to see more, we'll do more uh, monster train episodes. But yeah, that was the first run. This is a good game. I really like it. Oh, freaking full, dude. I shouldn't have. I should have ate some much. <laughs> ate so fast. I was just so hungry. All right, here we go. All right, that was a cool game. I like it. I'll, I'm definitely playing it, even if it's not re being recorded. But.